just levitated and now we're moving out again back to Long Yang Lu. So we're going out here. <clears throat> moving out of the station. Pretty sunny day today. You can see the metro tracks. Less expensive but slower way to get to the airport via rail system. The airport is truly intermodal. Here's the other terminal. We're looking to the kind of the north terminal number two. You can see the elevated subway guideway system, rail system. see the Maglev Guideway here on the right. I'm sitting on the other side of the train on the return trip, get a different perspective, be able to see the flyover, flyover guideway to the uh, maintenance facility here shortly. There's the train, subway. That's how we got the Long Yang Lu. We're still accelerating. Uh, 205 kilometers per hour. This was the top speed of the D train again from Beijing to Shanghai that we were on the other day and uh, we'll be returning. There you can see the track switch, flyover, goes to the maintenance facility. You can see the track there.
cross being uh, multiples of uh, old technology is totally false. It doesn't take any more materials really to build a structure like this than it does to build the elevated uh, platforms for high speed rail or for subway lines. Basically the same amount of steel and concrete for both systems. Now to take this trip by a cab would be about a 45 minute ride without traffic. Now you can see the development in Pudong, the edges of uh, Shanghai or metropolitan area are spreading out more and more into the suburban areas. This building is uh, right outside uh, Long Lei Lu's uh, station. Systems manufactured by ThyssenKrupp of Germany. You can hear the hum as we decelerate. And we're into the station, Wang Yang Lu. Passengers waiting to get on. And again, a little over seven minutes. And we're here. All right. And there we go. We're done.